Hello, YouTube family. This is Ravi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm back with another video on the JavaScript series where we have learned so far almost all the basic parts of Java, what we are going to use in Java script. I'm so sorry, Java script, not Java, and what we can use that in service now. So, I will take you to my YouTube channel first of all. Sorry, I'm branding myself here. I'm so sorry, but this is also important. So this now Ravi and uh, we'll go to this channel. And on this channel, go to this playlist. Learn service now on the Java platform. So we have learned all the basics from day one, day two, if loop, else, while conditions, everything we have seen till day four, which is basically using service. Now you can check these all videos if you wish to learn javascript on service now platform now today's topic will be a little bit different but related to your javascript and we use mostly in our service now that is our functions classes how to use that how to define the function how to define the classes and then we'll jump to the service now scripting we'll start with the client side then we'll go to the server side and we'll learn all the glide families as I mentioned, service now only deal with the Glide families the most. Rest coming from the JavaScript, which are basic. If condition, else condition, for loop, while loop, statements, everything will be coming from the JavaScript, which we have seen already, but mostly they are used under the Glide forms, Glide parts, Glide records. So let's get started. So today I'm going to show you functions and classes. Basically, the function means you might have heard about it function on load. OK, what is this function on load? What do I mean by function? So this is very common thing. You will define a function. Then what do you mean by classes? So this function, whatever you see over here, I will take you a very beautiful example, which everyone is familiar. And I will take a snipping tool and just try to explain you what basically a function says about uh, anything. So I'll take a snipping tool. And let's say you have called function. OK, inside the word itself called function. And let's say you are going on a, let's say, marriage ceremony. OK, so let's say marriage ceremony. Marriage ceremony. So the function is your marriage ceremony. Inside the marriage, ceremony there is a marriage hall which is denoted by this curly braces on and curly braces off so it's nothing but this this activity this event is occurring inside a i am assuming this is occurring inside a marriage hall on that marriage hall or on that marriage space if someone is present then only he will be able to access food obviously we are found of food so food then we have uh, Engagements, ring ceremony, engagement, ring ceremony, whatever you can say. So a person who belong who, who is inside this marriage hall, then only he or she will be able to access these three activities. Apart from that, he or she will not be able to access. Means someone is here. This is a marriage hall, and I am I am standing here. Okay. Obviously, I have to go inside the marriage hall to access all this correct so function here denotes set of task set of tasks that need to be performed or you can say that set of a specific task or a piece of code that will be executed that performs certain thing and you can use this i can call this food anywhere i can call this uh, this ring anywhere inside the function the function itself says that it's you can say it's coming from the out oops concept, not out of the box. Oops, object oriented programming language. In the oops concept, we have Java and it generally originated from there. So what basically is say that it's a block of code, set of instruction, set of tasks that need to be performed within the scope of function. Scope means see after. Beyond this bracket, we cannot access anything. And it is denoted by the keyword called function. And this is nothing but a function name. 
So I will take you to service now. <coughs> so I go there and let's say I will type client script. For example, just for your reference, let me click on our new. And let's say I'm choosing uh, type as onload. You will notice function onload is coming. It means that this become the, the function name is onload. And whatever we write inside this, that act as a my set of instruction, set of code. So the format will be something like this function, function name. And inside that, you will call something. You will not call, I'm so sorry. You will use your set of instruction. Okay. So, like this, you can use it. This is called function. And similar to the function, uh, similarly in the functions, we have in server, service now, server side also. There also we use functions. Like we have a script include where we'll create function. So, that also we'll discuss very soon when we go through that. But as of now, I hope it is clear on this point. What do you mean by function? I will close this. If you want, you can take a snip of it. I'm completely okay with it. Now we are going to the another topic called class. Class and class is denoted by class name. But what is class, first of all? So again, for this, I'm going to take a snipping of it, snipping tool. So we have a class keyword. Obviously, these are called keywords or reserved word which is used. So this keyword is used to create a class. And what do you mean by class? A constructor. Again, what is constructor? So I'll take you to Google and I will tell you something. Uh, class example. I will go to the image. I wanted, yeah, I wanted to show you something. Okay, let's take an example of this, this diagram. Okay, so let me draw it. Let's say we are on class 11th. We are class 11th student. And inside the class 11th student, we have Ravi. We have uh, Sonali. We have Kusum. We have Shreyak. Let's say there are four people in the class, class 11th. Okay. Now, all these four people have different properties, different marks, different age, different, you can say, uh, subjects. In the sense, they are good in any particular subject. Obviously, class 11th will have a common subject. So, let's say Ravi got 90% marks, Nali got 100%, Kusun got 100%, Sriya got 100%. So, these are the properties of that. And I can access Ravi. I can access Sonali, I can access Kusum, I can access Shreya with the help of an object which we will create for the class. And that object here represents a particular method. In the sense, if I write here class student, inside the student we have, uh, let's say, class. I have to use class 11th student. So I will use like this. This operator, I'll talk on this, this dot name equal to Ravi. So what is this here? Again, I'll talk on this, what basically this keyword used for. But remember, class represent entities, person. If you notice here, the person can be any, anyone. They have different age, they have different gender, they have different cities. These are the, you can say, unique members. Nothing but they have their name and the method is they can eat, sleep, study, play. So Ravi can eat, sleep, study, Sonali can study, she can study, Shreya can study. Correct. So these are called methods. But what is the property here? So Ravi has uh, age, color, Height, all these are the properties. Methods, he eats, he sleeps. 
So similarly, class represent a set of activities that have different data members and the method. As simple as that. So these are used as a uh, what do you call it? keywords class as a keyword. So this is introduced back in 2015. That is called ECMAScript 2015 in JavaScript classes. Okay. So class has two properties mostly. Uh, their uniqueness means their data members and the methods. So remember, in JavaScript, we generally use class with the class name and we create with the help of we create with the help of sorry new new keyword. New represent, let's say we used to write like this variable x equal to new glide record. For example, I'm writing. So I'm creating a class of a glide record and I'm storing the variable to x. It's storing it to the variable x. Now x become a class and I can access anything. So with the help of this x only, I can access all the variables. So act as a class. New help us to create a class of a glide record of any table, let's say incident. And now x become an object. Now x dot age equal to 30, it will return Ravi. X dot age equal to 20, it represent Shreya. For example, X dot age equal to 50, it represent XYZ people. So it's nothing but we are getting through the property and getting it back. So we have to create an object. The JavaScript class is not an object. You have to create an object with the help of new. So very simple example, like in the diagram, if you can see where's the diagram. We have two person have their own data members and they have the different methods they are using. So it has attributes and it has functionality. This is nothing but method, method and what properties they have. That is called a class. So class are mostly used with the keyword in ServiceNow in JavaScript term as a new keyword. For example, I'll take you to ServiceNow and I'll take you to the background script. background with background yeah i will write something like this variable card one equal to okay let's new glide record of let's say incident table so what do you mean by that so i am creating an object card one with the help of a keyword new and with the help of this, I'm going inside this incident table. Okay, so these are basically used in service now, new keyword to, to create an object. You can read this line constructor, constructor glide record table names. So what basically this new will do? We'll create an object as simple as that. Okay, I, I will write something like this also. Let's say class card. Okay, inside the class, I will write uh, constructor, constructor, name, comma, y, e, e, a, here. Inside that, I am writing this dot name. This represent again an object. This represent to the current object name. And this dot here equal to pi e a e r here okay so i created a class called card and, and inside the card i have created a two things name and year as you can say uh, uh here inside this is called constructor method inside the constructor method i am passing two parameters called name and year now after this i will write variable my card one equal to new. My card one equal to new. And I will call the same thing. Let me make it capital C. P A R card. And here I will put uh, B M W. M B M W. Comma, 
which year it is year is let's say 2024 i'm going to buy a car of 2024 model i'm again creating another variable called my car to again new so here if you notice with the help of new i am going to pass this here car will go to bmw year will go here new act as an object audi 2025 or let it be 23 correct So here, what I'm doing, I'm creating an object of car, my car, and uh, my car one and my car two. Now let's print it. GS dot print my car one dot. If I want to see the name, enter and run it. There's an error at line number one. I'm so sorry, guys. We are not on the Java script compiler. If we run the same code on Java script compiler, it will work. But this is not a JavaScript compiler, so we have to write code. We have to convert everything in the form of service now. That's why I told you we don't have to know exactly the JavaScript part, but we need to know how to write that in service now. So this constructor and all is not needed here in this case. But I will save it somewhere. For example, let me open the Notepad, and uh, I will save it somewhere. Now I will change this to function card control x. How to get a function? Function function name constructor is not required here. Now I have, I have defined a function called function card name comma year this dot name this dot year, and now I have created an object here to access this class. So I'm creating a class. With the help of new, creating an object my card one, and if you noted, it is within the function outside the function. I have written two variables, one with card BMW, another with Audi. And if I want to access my card dot one dot name, but name is where name is defined under the function name here. But this name is taking the current name. Where is the current name here, which is passed? And if I run this script, it will give me BMW. So what basically it is giving me? It is giving me the name of that card. I can give a plus also, and uh, one space, then plus my card two dot name. This is very important concept. If you understand this, your life will be easy. So first, what I define, I define a function. Inside the function, I have my function name is card. Okay, let me just remove this again. I will create a function. How to get a function? Function function name. So let's say function name is student. Student. Okay. Function function name function name should be end with the quotes. Now inside the function parameter, I'm going to pass name, comma age, comma sex. Okay. Inside this, I am going to define a operator, which is this. What is this? This is a reserve keyword, or you can say keyword which refer to the current object. So I will use whatever the name this dot name equal to. Leave it this dot age equal to this dot sex equal to. Okay. After this. I am going to create an object. So variable x equal to new uh, student the v comma twenty nine comma mean. Okay, variable y. Equal to new student. So I'm basically, if you notice, I am I am calling it student, and here I will put so comma twenty nine comma female.
Okay, you will notice there's an error. Why? Because we have not mentioned. So here we have to mention what is the current name Ravi. But I am hard coding it over here. How to access that? Same thing. This dot name equal to name. This dot age equal to age. This dot sex equal to sex. Whatever the data we enter from here, it will give me the result. If I put gs dot print x and gs dot print y dot name, I'm going to access. So let's see whether it is working or not. And you will notice it will work. The VN person. But if I remove this dot name and y name from it, what will happen? This thing? It is just giving the status code and it is giving object, object. Yes, it is an object. That's what I wanted to show you. So X become an object now. Who help us to create an object? This new keyword. New keyword is creating an object from what student? What is student function? Function has a class name called na uh, method called name, not method. I'm so sorry, parameter called name, age, and sex. And this is what it is. So I hope you are clear on this. But the script which we have written here, this is applicable only on the Java compiler. So I will show you that. So we can write here W3 schools compiler. They have the compiler. Compiler. Okay. Try front end editor. Yeah. So I'll copy. I'll copy from here. Obviously, I have to change certain codes here, guys. So what I'm going to change is, first of all, below the body, uh, I will I have to write script. This is for JavaScript compiler. And I will copy paste the same stuff. Cla uh, class card, constructor name here, this one. And this print is not working in the JavaScript compiler. So for that, they are using DOM manipulation. DOM manipulation is nothing but we have to generate the element ID. We'll talk on this DOM manipulation just for your reference. Here you have to type document document dot get element. This you can ignore. ID. And I have to create basically an ID. So I, I will create the ID. Let's say test dot inner HTML equal to this you have to remember. You have to remember. This test is nothing but I have to create an ID. So I will create an ID above the body. Sorry, below the body. Let's say paragraph P P ID equal to test. I hope it is correct. It's long back that I did this all for you. Okay, and then my car one dot mean. Okay, and just close the script. Copy this. Close this. As simple as that. Now let's run this. Give you the ID. It's not coming. P ID. P ID equal to test. P script class card constructor. Name, comma, year, this dot name, name. Yeah, this is correct only. Oof. This is not service, man. I'm so sorry, guys. Test dot net, I N N E R S T M L. Document spelling should be correct. Dot get. Element by ID 
capital B Y idea. Now it is giving BMW. Correct. My car dot name is nothing but this one. So this is this code will work in the JavaScript compiler, not on the service now compiler. So I copy this and paste it over here. Doesn't make sense. It won't work. Syntax error. Obviously, it won't work, guys. So you have to create a function, the one which we did. Function, function name, pass your parameters, create a class for it. Use this keyword to get the current name, current age, current sex. Create a class over here. And with the help of this object, you can access that members from that class. So as simple as that. This is called your JavaScript uses in service now. So we don't have to learn. Now you understand why I'm saying that you just have to know the basics part and then you can use the rest in your service now. So we understood what is function. And uh, what do you mean by classes? What else is remaining? So classes are done. The one thing which is remaining is your this keyword, which I have already explained you. But let me explain you another way. So remember this refer to as an object. So this represent current object currently, not current dot name we will use because it, it is not a business tool. You have not defined a current and previous. Year. So this here refer to an object. Okay, an object depends on how it is being called, how this is being invoked. Invoked other meaning is called called. So this refer to the global object here, which is used to invoke. This is not a variable. This is not a variable, but it is a keyword. And you cannot change the value of this. Whatever the value will come, it will it will come. Whatever the first name, it will come. As simple as that. I hope it is clear. And let me know if you have any doubt. In the next class, we will start with our basics with client side glide family. What we can do with the glide family. Till then, I hope it is clear because I bring this video because this is very important for service now functions and classes. And we'll meet in the next class. Till then, thanks everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you.